Hi everyone, let's begin artificial neural network. Artificial neural network is a very important part in our uh, analysis in Python. So I would like to explain you artificial neural network in Python, but before starting artificial neural network in Python, we have to just focus on this. What is artificial neural network? What are their advantages? What are their disadvantages? As well as where we have to use this artificial neural network and what are the types of artificial neural network so first of all we would understand an artificial neural network is usually a computational network based on biological neural networks that construct the structure of the human brain so basically artificially we are creating human brain right and uh, how the neurons are working in the same way we are working in a machine so the artificial neural network is designed by programming computers to behave simply like interconnected brain cells so i am just i just want to explain you with the help of this particular picture here is you can see here this one is the on this left hand side these are all our our hit our, our inputs you can see here these are our inputs this is output and all these are our hidden layers so biological neural network how we have to compare with biological neural network dendrites are like these are dendrites in human brain but these are inputs here is cell nucleus that is the nodes i would explain you these are the nodes and synapse that is the weights right i will show you each how these weights are carrying an exon means outputs here is in artificial neural network and this is the picture you can see input one input two input three these are all are my inputs and these are my nodes here is x1 x2 x3 and these are w1 w2 and w3 these all are weights and this is the our output so i am just i just want to show you there is the one research paper that is published on uh, artificial neural network i would like to show you this is the this is the research paper determining accuracy rate of artificial intelligence mo models using python and r studio so here is artificial neural network through this ann we have done stock market prediction and now you can see here stock market prediction right this is the this is the system architecture and after that i just want to show you in this particular paper uh, this is the in these are inputs i was talking about these are hidden layers and this is the output this these are the output layers and then the finally we are getting output and through this in training and testing data set we can find out what is our accuracy rate so in python also we are going to run this artificial neural network right so in that way we will get the weights also these are our inputs this is our output output is our uh, these are the uh, dividends right and dividend depends upon all these things right these are independent variable this is the dependent variable dividend depend on all these factors so what we have to do let me now we will continue the uh, same examples of artificial ne neural network where we are going to use artificial neural network handwritten recognition for this purpose people are using artificial neural network weather prediction also facial recognition stock market prediction i have already shown you that one is the research paper on the based on stock market prediction delivery route planning here is the what is the optimization and uh, optimized route right through which we have to plan speech to text uh, text transcription also that is one of the example now the we have to go through these types of the neural networks neural networks are some times described in terms of their depth including how many layers they have between input and output or the model so called hidden layers where we had used hidden layers whether there is the only one hidden layer there is the more than one hidden layer more than two hidden layers on the basis of which we can say whether the this model is very complex right or it is a simple model so here is that is why the term neural network is used almost synonymously with deep learning right so here is 
feed forward neural network first kind of that is this most simplest one so his simple is what we have to do in this particular neural network pass the information in one direction through various input nodes until it makes the output nodes a facial example of this facial recognition generally they are using feed forward neural network what we can call it ffnn right next one is the rnn Re recurring neural network that is the more complex kind of neural network here is the what we have to do save the output of processing nodes and feed the result back to the nodal, nodal uh, back to the model and each node in the rnn model act as a memory cell that would be keep as they they, they are storing so this neural network start with the same front propagation as a feed forward network but then goes on to remember all process information in order to reuse it in the future if the network's prediction is incorrect then the system self learns and continues working towards the correct prediction during back propagation for example text to speech conversions so this one is the example that we that usually run in rnn then the next one is the cnn convolutional neural network most popular network nowadays and this neural network computational model uses a variation of multi-layer perceptions and contains one or more convolutional layers that can be either entirely connected or pooled these convolutional layers create features maps that record a, re a region of image which is ultimately broken into rectangles and sent out for non-linear so basically where we are going to use cnn model that is very popular that is for image recognition it has been used in many most advanced applications of artificial intelligence that is including facial recognition text digitization image classification and image processing and we will discuss in all these things in python also dnn deconvolutional neural networks that would be used reverse cnn model process they aim to find lost features or signals that may have originally been considered unimportant to the cnn systems task so the network model can be used in image synthesis and analysis and the next one model is MNN. MNN is the modular neural network that contains multiple neural networks working separately from one another. The networks do not communicate or interface with each other's activities during the computation, computation process. Complex or big computational process can be performed more efficiently through DNN, through MNN. So what are the advantages of neural network? That is the parallel processing ability mean the network can perform more than one job at a time. So parallel processing is going on. Information is stored on an entire network, not just a database. So entire network uh, information that would be stored, not only that is only database information they are storing. So the ability to learn and model nonlinear complex relationships help model the real life relationships between input and output. I, th that one is I had already shown as a stock market prediction. Corruption of one or more cell of the ENN will not stop the generation of output. Gradual corruption means the network will slowly degrade over time instead of a problem destroying the network instantly. And ability to generalize and inference unseen relationship on unseen data means ANN can predict the output of unseen data. Then the disadvantages, obviously, if, the, if any technique have advantages simultaneously, this technique has disadvantages also. The lack of rules for determining the proper network structure means the appropriate artificial neural network architecture can only be found through trial and error and experience. The network works with numerical information. Therefore, all problems must be translated into numbers or numerical values before they can be presented to the ENN. The lack of explanation behind proving solution is one of the biggest disadvantages in ANNs. The inability to explain the why or how behind the solution generates a lack of trust in the network. So that's all uh, related to artificial neural network. Here is I had given you just introduction about artificial neural network and I'm sure we will apply this ANN in Python with the use of some real life data set. So keep watching. Thank you.